I think we have learned uh, a few lessons over the last, let's say, one year, the last six, six months. First is that uh, inflation has to be fought uh, valiantly. We, have to, we cannot uh, take chances on inflation. And we have to understand better what is driving inflation. If you remember, um, the U.S. Fed, for instance, the chairman of the U.S. Fed had famously indicated that inflation, according to them, was temporary. That he was that they were saying, and transitory, exactly. And in the end, the data uh, revealed that that wasn't the case. So I think it is important to really be focused on inflation, but also understand how the dynamics of, um, you know, the, the price dynamics and inflation dynamics that uh, um, are playing out. The point is that there has been a lot of changes in the dynamics. Mm. I mean, I can say this having looked at our own models yeah. and realized that the models, models actually have changed, mm. um, meaning what we would have, I mean, in terms of how accurate they are, how good are they at predicting the outcome. So I think that sort of change is what we as central bankers are going through. Do you think we're going to be in for structurally higher levels of inflation going forward? I don't think so. Forwards? I don't think uh, central bankers will allow that to happen. Mm. I think the, at least from my perspective, um, the central bankers that we, we talk to and indeed around the world, they are committed to their number one mandate, mm. which is price stability. And the reason for that is uh, without price stability, there will be significant problems in terms of even financial stability or for that matter, even uh, the efficiency of the markets, etc. So inflation is important to bring it back, to mm. put the genie back in the bottle. Mm. How do the banking stress situations, we've had a few incidents recently in the US, Europe as well, we've had a banking scare coming out of Switzerland. Do you think about any knock-on effects that could have to global financial stability? Yes, that is, uh, that is correct. And actually, today is an interesting day. You're asking me this question because they are going to be releasing here the Global Financial Stability Report. Mm -hmm. um, but the point is that this was uh, a wake-up call on all of us, and particularly the advanced economies, the regulators in the advanced economies. And uh, from a point of view of fast appreciating how damaging this, um, let's say, collapse of uh, just a number of banks, three banks, would have been. Uh, and also, in effect, what also happened in Europe, the Credit Suisse uh, collapse, etc. So I think we, were, we, we, we came back to, let's say, where we were in 2008, you know, realizing that uh, financial stability is also a core mandate of ourselves as central bankers, etc. And unless we deal with it, you know, quickly, it can have significant, mm. uh, you know, it would actually have a major damaging effect uh, for all economies. Now, from our perspective, what we saw, um, first and foremost, we were not extended that much into, um, let's say, the, the banks that went under. But I think that what we saw was a, the sudden uh, surge or let's say a tightening of dollar liquidity. And as you know, mm -hmm. the Fed and indeed other advanced economies did put out a Spot lot lines. of dollar liquidity, mm -hmm. including through their discount window, including other channels. And you know, that reached record levels. Mm -hmm. And in some sense, we all felt that shock, you know, in terms of uh, the, 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 the lack of dollars mm -hmm. as uh, specific banks were you know, scrambling to do this. Now, the issues have kind of come down again. But also the other issue is one of, uh, um, let's say, a, a flight to safety. There was a significant flight to safety in uh, not just deposits, but also, I think, investors. And in that sense, we will pay a bit the price of, uh, you know, being one of the frontier economies, etc. Mm -hmm. So the emerging market and the uh, frontier economies have actually had to um, take, uh, take a hit in terms of their, um, their, uh, yeah, their yields. Um, out there. But I, my expectation is as, uh, as, the, as we go by and this sort of settles in the advanced economies, um, we'll go back to where we were before. But in the interim, obviously, the, the increases uh, um, have been damaging.